I'm Penny St, and I'm the host of Peace with Penny. In Tuesday's episode, April 26, at 11 a.m. Pacific time, we'll be speaking with Netta Levy of Itach Maki, Women Lawyers for Social Justice. It is an Israeli advocacy organization working to advance the rights of disenfranchised women and elevate the voices of diverse women in public discourse. Itach and Ma'aki both mean with you in Hebrew and Arabic, respectively, and their organization is built on a structure of Jewish Arab partnership via legal aid, litigation, policy change, leadership training, public advocacy, and community organizing. Itach Ma'aki advances the rights of women from marginalized groups in Israel. They support Arab women, Jewish ultra-Orthodox women, single mothers, low-income working women, women in poverty, immigrants, and more. Their multicultural group of women lawyers and activists work towards building a shared society based on the common values of gender equality and equal access to justice. Having worked for years in corporate America, and years ago being one of few female managers and consultants, I know some of what that's like, and I applaud their efforts. As they say, we've come a long way, baby, but still there is so far to go. And within marginalized communities and having additional cultural obstacles in Israel, the struggle continues. As you know by now, Peace with Penny is concerned with peace primarily between Israelis and Palestinians, and it's encouraging to hear of Itach Ma'aki's efforts. But what got this Jewish American woman interested in working on peace thousands of miles away from her West Coast home? It was the summer of 2014, and for my son's bar mitzvah present, just like many Jewish parents, we wanted him to bond with the Holy Land. Oh, it worked perhaps too well. My husband had stayed back at the hotel, and our friends, my son and I, had just stopped in a pharmacy. Run! Run to the bomb shelter, sweetie! Please! Please hurry! I didn't hear the sirens at first, but the Israelis did. They're used to hearing these things. We ran to the back of the storeroom. It was a 12 foot by 24 foot windowless bomb shelter. My heart's pounding. Boom, boom. I hear and feel the percussion of the exploding bombs. I'm trying not to get sick. I look at my 13 year old son and I think I'll never forgive myself if something happens to him. That's an excerpt from a speech I gave to the Orange County Jewish Bar Association. It was the first but not the last time we had to run to a bomb shelter. Our adventure and my transformation is also the subject of my book, Blasted from Complacency, A Journey from Terror to Transformation in Israel. There is no chapter in a parenting book on what to do when a war starts and you're on a family vacation. Think touring extraordinary and sacred sites mixed with cowering in bomb shelters. I'm still trying to get over the Jewish guilt of taking my son to war for his bar mitzvah present. The impact of being human targets helped me understand the plight of Israelis living like this, and it also made me want to work on peace. How Israel is often described on the news is not what I'd seen with my own eyes. And I felt Palestinian parents also preferred their children playing safely in their backyards. The missiles exploded just near enough to blow apart my world as I knew it, forever changing me. And you'd never recognize my life today with what it was like then. I believe I found my life's purpose. We hope you can join Neda Levy and me on April 26 at 11 a.m. Pacific time as we discuss Itach Ma'aki and its legal battles to uphold a fair balance in Israeli society for women and marginalized communities. If our timing doesn't fit your personal schedule, you can see the recording on my website at www.pennytheletterstee.com under podcast or on the Peace with Penny YouTube channel. 
it's unfortunate that in 2022, we're still talking about some of these same issues, but we're grateful that organizations like Itach Maaki, Women Lawyers for Social Justice, exist to carry forward the fight. We continue to send our prayers out to the people of Ukraine. And as always, we conclude with a prayer that everyone will someday live in peace, shalom, and salam. <laughs>